In this video today, we are diving into respiratory acidosis. I will tell you what it is, what causes it, and what you need to know about it for nursing school. And before we get started, my friend, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell icon so you never miss out on any other nursing school tips and tricks that I have for you. Now, let's do it. Respiratory acidosis is one of four main categories that you need to know about for ABGs in nursing school. ABG stands for arterial blood gases. Now the other three categories are metabolic acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, and metabolic alkalosis. We'll talk about those other three in the other videos in this series. So when you see the word respiratory, when it refers to ABGs, I want you to think of the lungs. So during respiratory acidosis, think the lungs. The lungs are the problem and we call them the party poopers. So the lungs are the ones causing the respiratory acidosis to occur. Now acidosis means that the blood is more acidic than normal and the way that we determine if the blood is acidic or not is to look at the pH value on your patient's arterial blood gas panel or ABG panel. A normal pH blood value is between 7.35 and 7.45. When the pH is less than 7.4 it's more acidic and when the pH is greater than 7.4 it's more basic. So during respiratory acidosis, it's acidosis, meaning the pH is more acidic or less than 7.4. So here's what's happening during respiratory acidosis. The lungs are holding on to too much CO2. Now CO2 stands for carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is an acid. Usually as you breathe, the lungs pull in oxygen and let out CO2. But during respiratory acidosis, they're not letting out enough CO2, so it builds up in the blood. And what happens when the acid builds up in the blood? The blood becomes more acidic and that's exactly what's happening here. Because the lungs are just holding on to too much CO2, the blood is becoming more and more acidic and the pH is now dropping. When you look at a patient's arterial blood gas panel or ABG panel, the number you're looking for here is the PaCO2. That stands for partial pressure of carbon dioxide and it tells you how much CO2 is in the blood. A normal PaCO2 is between 35 and 45 millimeters mercury. This is pretty easy one to remember because it looks just like the normal pH value that we just saw, just without the 7. So a normal pH value is 7.35 to 7.45 and a normal PaCO2 is 35 to 45. Now, here's what nursing instructors love to test you on, the causes of respiratory acidosis. Some causes of respiratory acidosis are asthma, bronchitis, COPD, hypoventilation, changes in nervous system function, pneumonia, pulmonary edema, and anything else that decreases gas exchange in the lungs or decreases the respiratory rate. So anything that can inhibit or decrease respirations or decrease gas exchange can cause respiratory acidosis. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step guide for interpreting ABGs, be sure to check that video out that we've got for you. I put a link to that video in the description below for you to check it out if you would like. Now, I hope this video helped you, friend, in nursing school and learning arterial blood gases and respiratory acidosis. Now, go become the nurse that God created only you to be and I will see you in the next video.